Hi, my name is Mallory Woods. I'm a solutions engineer at Checkmarks, and today we're going to talk about integrating Checkmarks 1 into a CI CD pipeline. Checkmarks 1 can integrate into your CI CD pipeline relatively easy. On the left, click the plug for integrations, and we can see some of the CI CD pipelines that we do support. In this case, or in this example, we'll use GitHub. To enable actions in your GitHub repository, select the Settings button on the right-hand side of your GitHub repo. Actions must be enabled in order for the CI-CD pipeline flow to work. Please locate Actions on your left-hand side and click the General link. The Allow All Actions and Reusable Workflows should be selected. If not, please select it now and click Save. After this, please locate the Secrets and Variables link and select Actions. We need to set up repository secrets. Pause here and return to your Checkmarks 1 tab. We need to create our repository secrets. To do this, click the gear in the lower left-hand corner of the screen and click Identity and Access Management. Locate the OAuth clients in the upper left-hand corner. Click the OAuth client, and then click Create Client. We need to name the client name Individual. Casing will be important. Please remember that when we go to input this into GitHub. Click the Create Client link. And at this point, we want to copy the secret that has been saved. We want to save both of those somewhere to secure so that we can save them into GitHub. Finally, at the bottom, we need to assign an admin role to this client. Type in admin in the search bar and select add, then save client. Now we need to return to GitHub. Don't forget to copy your GitHub client ID that you just saved. Once we're back on the GitHub screen, if you're not already at the settings menu, please click the settings button and locate secrets and variables. Click the action. We want to generate or want to input a new repository secret. The client CX client ID must be exactly what you type before. Lowercase and casing is important. Select that and save or hit add secret. After we've saved the client ID, we need to create one more variable. This is the CX underscore client secret. Paste in your secret key and add secret. Please locate the integrations link on your left-hand side of Checkmarks 1 and click the documentation link for GitHub Actions. There is a script that we need to copy over and modify in order to get the actions to work. Once you click the link, flow to the bottom of the page and click the next button. Then flow to the bottom of the page to view the script. The GitHub action script is located here in black. Click the copy button in the upper right hand corner to copy the text to the clipboard, then return to your GitHub actions tab. We will start back at Actions, and we will create a new workflow. Click the New Workflow button, and click the Set Up a Workflow Yourself link. Paste the link or the copy text into the screen and make the following changes. Please delete the project name. Then type in your CX tenant name. If you don't have this information, you can ask your support or sales engineer for this information. Keep in mind that this information or this tenant name is case sensitive. For the base URI, refer to your documentation or also ask your SC. For most clients, it will be HTTPS ast.checkmarks.net. This may vary in other countries. 
once this has been set up, you can click Commit Changes and the workflow should run with a green check mark in the Actions menu. And that's how you integrate Checkmarks 1 into your CI CD pipeline. If you like this or like to see more videos about Checkmarks, please click the link below to visit our YouTube channel.